Chef Susan Wu from UCSF will be talking about targeted targeted needs assessment for symmetry of the symmetry and treatment planning education for United States Radiation and Health. Thank you so much for this opportunity to present our work. Um, we know that treatment planning and symmetry are really integral to the practice of radiation oncology. And in practice, radiation oncologists and residents report spending about 20% of their time on treatment planning. And even then, surveys of chief residents suggest that about a third feel like they have insufficient experience in treatment planning. And while frameworks have been proposed, to date there's no standard curriculum for this new treatment planning. So we surveyed current radiation oncology residents, um, and they were asked to describe existing dosimetry and treatment planning curriculums at their programs, and then rank their relative comfort level with aspects of treatment planning on a one to five scale. And then finally, we asked them to express interest in potential dosimetry or treatment planning modules. Our overall response rate is 33%. About a quarter of residents reported having mandatory treatment planning rotations, either typically over two to four weeks, and the vast majority were observerships. About a third included didactics, about a quarter included some practice modules, and about 18% included independent treatment planning. Even though only the minority of residents had existing curriculum, the majority did have a standard approach for evaluating treatment plans. For the 26% of patient residents with mandatory treatment planning and with some rotations, they are more comfortable evaluating plans, working with treatment planning systems, and requesting changes to plans. Residents used a median of two different treatment planning systems at their institutions. However, having more treatment planning systems did not impact the relative comfort. These graphs describe um, resident-reported discomfort with various aspects of treatment planning. So discomfort on our scale was a 1 to 2, on a 1 to 5 scale where 3 was moderately comfortable. So we see that with regard to comfort of treatment planning systems, evaluating treatment plans, and requesting changes to plans. Discomfort decreases as residents progress through their training. However, even as PGY5s, 10% are not comfortable with treatment planning systems, 2% still are not comfortable evaluating plans, and almost 20% are not comfortable requesting changes to plans. Regarding resident, or attending lead education, um, when residents were asked if they reviewed less than 50% of contours with attendings, 43% said that was true. Um, when asked if they reviewed less than 50% of the plans with attendings, 71% reviewed that was true. Overall, 60% of residents reported insufficient exposure to treatment planning and dosimetry, and among PGY5 residents, this is still quite high at 52%. 92% of residents expressed interest in supplemental treatment planning or dosimetry resources, however, this number was much lower among PGY5s so at 17%. In this graph, we see kind of the relative interest different modules, so breaking therapy, SBRT, electrons, IMRT, SRS were all of great interest to our residents. In conclusion, dosimetry and treatment planning education is highly variable. Most residents, even at the PG Y5 level, report insufficient exposure to treatment planning and education. And they are interested in supplemental resources. So for future direction, um, we would like to highlight the next few slides development of a dosimetry and treatment planning curriculum that we would like to pilot in the next academic year. So this is just a snapshot of some modules that have been developed. So 3D, IMRT, SBRT for Eclipse clinical immunizations. This is the framework for each of these modules. There's an introduction where you describe the treatment planning technique, the treatment planning process. There will be a video um, as well as a consolidation quiz. So residents will learn the beam placement, optimization <coughs> algorithms, and then a quiz to follow. Thank you so much.